Hi, this is uh, Tying Lapper Ties. Um, how you do this is entirely up to you as long as your end product is exactly what you need. This is just my preferred method. Jim will advise you as to what length suture they require. Simply take the ruler, mark out the lengths on your table. This will actually prevent you from having to use the ruler each time to mark your suture. If the desired length of the suture is 10 centimeters, then I simply like to cut the um, suture a little bit longer in order to make space for the knot when I'm tying it. When tying the knot at the end of the suture, the method is entirely up to you how you do this. This just happens to be my preferred method that I found easy enough to do. There are multiple methods of doing this. As I mentioned, it does not matter how you do this as long as there's a knot at the end of the suture. The next video is actually another method of tying the knot. Many people seem to find this method a little simpler. The knot is made by two twists of the thread around the Kelly faucet and then simply sliding those two loops down to the tip of the Kelly and pinching the knot tight. Once you have tied the knot, keep your clamp at the end of the suture. This will help you actually keep the suture taut when you're applying the lapper tie. When applying the lapper tie to the suture, note the position of my index finger and thumb as it is holding the suture taut. The lapper tie is being placed below the knot and if you notice, the lapper tie is actually placed on the side of the knot closest to the needle. The surgeon will advise you as to how many to make up for the procedure.